Hey everybody, Thomas Flynn here, training specialist with Coldwell Banker Harside. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to show you how to create and apply a template to a transaction. Now, a template is going to allow you to not have to continually enter the same information for every single transaction, such as your company, your license number, your contact information, things like that. So let's get started. From the home screen in Zipform Plus, which we all know and love, you're going to hover over Templates. Go ahead and select Templates, and it should bring you to a screen. Now, if you have multiple of these that actually have property addresses in them, go ahead and just hover over and click that blue drop-down and hit Delete. Templates should never contain information such as names and property addresses. The only information a template should contain is... Uh, stagnant data that's not going to change from transaction to transaction. So let's go ahead and create a new template. When you create a new template, it's going to be very similar to creating a new transaction. It's going to say new template and what kind you would like to get started. We're going to go ahead and do a new listing template. So I'm going to select new listing and then I'm going to enter in my template name. So Thomas Flynn's seller. Okay. Then I'm going to select that it's a residential property. And if I want, I could tell this template to automatically apply to new residential listing transactions in zip form. I do highly recommend that, but for today's purposes, I'm not going to select that. It'll then ask you to select a template. Now, keep in mind that selecting a template is going to give you the basic information. So for today's purposes, we're going to select the CBH Sellers Global Template. I'll then click Save, and it's going to take me into the transaction, or the template rather. So it looks just like a transaction, which is why I just mistakenly said transaction. You really won't be able to tell the difference, except this is going to say templates, and you're not going to have all of the options across the top. So the first thing you would want to do is add a party. So for your listing, you're always going to be the listing broker. So we are with Coldwell Banker Harside. Once you've entered that in, that's really the only information that you know for a listing. So then I can go over to Documents. I see that there's a placeholder for my MLS printout. Then what you're going to want to do is go through and fill in the stagnant information that is not going to change. For our example, I'm going to always be the listing agent. The managers will always be Bob Williams and Doug Krautheim. Notice I didn't fill out any of the other information. Then I'll go to the consumer notice and I will fill out all of these forms with information that's not going to change. I'm not going to enter a date. I'm merely going to continue. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the Lehigh Valley disclosure, affiliated business disclosure, because I'm not going to need that. And if I do, I can always go over to all forms. A listing contract. I'm going to fill in all of the information as such for this transaction along with my name and we're done. Now, I'm not going to fill out any of the seller information. I am going to select that the seller does not have another listing contract. And I'm going to make sure that all of the numbers that are defaults are filled in, such as that. As I continue to scroll, I can make sure that everything is set. And it looks pretty good to me. So we are set. Once I've gone through all of my forms, I can close out and save. Now there's my new template. 
Now, when I have to create a new transaction, say I'm going out on a listing agreement, I would say that I want a new listing. I'm going to name my I guess that is a capital G. I'm going to name my transaction. I'm going to say it is a residential listing and I'm going to apply Thomas Flynn's seller. I'm then going to click save and it's going to open up and give me everything in that template that I asked for. So by default, it has me as a party. If I go to documents, I can open this up and see that Thomas Kyle Flynn and Doug Crawfheim and Bob Williams are in. The consumer notice has my information in and that's how you would apply and use a template. I hope this video was helpful to everybody. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me, 215-840-3698 or email at t.flynn at cbharside.com. Thank you so much and I look forward to talking to you all soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.